Welcome to Sparky Help, a YouTube web channel set up for electrical students currently covering electrical principles. However, if you have any requests for any other type of subject within electrical installations, whether it be cable calculations, how motors work, please get in contact, let me know. Otherwise, please enjoy the videos we've put on there so far. Uh, I wait for your comments. So energy, so we started off originally with coulombs, which is Q, which is equal to I times T. So current times time in seconds will give you coulombs. Current times time in hours will give you ampere hours, which you might find batteries are rated in. Um, power is V times I, uh, which we already know about. Um, what we can do is we can add on to this, we can do V times I times T, so it's power times time, so there's a mixture of these forms up here. And what this will give you is joules in energy. So this is effectively joules is volts times amps times time. Or another way to look at it, tell me what per second you have. Now where energy meters you have in your home, so the incoming supply goes through a meter, it basically what you're paying for is energy hence the energy meter. Actually, we're paying for joules is the energy, it's the purest form. However, joules is a really tiny unit. It's a bit like measuring a distance. We tend to measure maybe in kilometers, um, trying to measure it in millimeters. It's very accurate, but not relevant. We tend to use is kilowatt hours. So that, kilo being a thousand, so kilowatts, that's a thousand watts in hours. So there are 60 minutes in an hour and there are 60 seconds in a minute. So if we do 1000 times 60 times 60, so 60 times 60 is 3600 times 1000, that gives us 1, joules. So one kilowatt hour is 3,600,000 joules, or 3.6 megajoules of energy equals one kilowatt hour. Okay, here's a question. Currently, the cost to run a device rated at 500 watts when it is on for two and a half hours. Assume the cost per kilowatt of electricity to be 22 pence. So, what do we do here? 500 watts times 2.5. So if we put that into our calculator, we get 1,250. However, what that is, it's watts. And we want it to be in kilowatt hours. So what we need to do is divide this answer by a thousand, and I could have done it over there. So divide by one thousand. So what we're actually using is one point two five kilowatt hours. So it's watts times the hours, and then divide your answer by a thousand. So we're now using that is what your meter would go up by. To work out the cost, one point two five kilowatt hours multiplied by the cost. Let's put in as point two two. So your answer comes out in pounds. You need it to be. So our actual answer is 27.5 pence. However, we add 5% VAT onto this, is what your bill would actually be. So to add VAT at 5%, 27.5 times 1.05 will add. So 
So 28.9 pence. Calculate the cost to run a 10.8 kilowatt shower when used for 10 minutes a day. Assume the cost per kilowatt hour of electricity to be 24p. So to work out the cost, so it's the cost per kilowatt hour. So we need to work out how many kilowatt hours we're using. Therefore, so 10.8 kilowatts times 10 minutes but we need this to be in hours and so we divide this by 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour then we'll get a fraction if we multiply that out you'll get the kilowatt hours so let's do that bit so 10 divided by 60 so that's one sixth of an hour if we change that to decimal I'll do it for you anyway but it's 0.16 times 10.8 it's 1.8 kilowatt hours we still want the cost so that's how much your meter will go up by 1.8 numbers units so let's work out the cost 1.8 times 24 43.2 pence, but this is excluding VAT, so if we add 5% VAT, so times this by 1.05, so 43.2 times 1.05, 1.05 Forty-five point three six pence per day.